because of the fact that that our old model of doing um, text assignments. And if you, uh, Takaya, if you could mute your uh, microphone, that would help out a ton. Um, morning, Solomon. Um, so instead of doing like full chapters of text assignments, I think I'm going to break it up into more chunks and be able to do like the assessments in a more immediate sort of way. Um, we haven't received any sort of insights as far as what uh, what assessment models are or are not accepted by the by the district. Um, and so I've got some latitude to be able to work with that. And so what I'm going to be playing around with is I'm going to wrap up chapter 23 uh, for you guys today. And chapter 23 is pretty straightforward. It was a set of text assignment uh, questions that you guys uh, were working with previously um, that I'd like to to put the wraps on uh, in one day. Because when you take a look at the 1940s and 50s, Truman, Eisenhower, um, it, th those are it, that's the time period that largely is seen as like MAGA. Uh, so if you hear President Trump talking about make America great again, um, that's pretty much the time period that he's talking about where after World War II, the economy is doing great. Um, we're doing just fine. Um, and so what I'm going to want you to do today to wrap up chapter 23 quickly and then start teaching in a different sort of way. Um, remember that you guys had an assess assessment that was due sometime today. Make sure you get this submitted from last week uh, sometime today so I can get that graded out and done for you. Um, let me see here. Here is our Google Meet for today. I'll put a recording here uh, in just a, a second in case you need to look this over. Um, I'm going to want you to take your attendance today like normal. Um, and then what I'm going to want uh, you guys to try out is I'm going to want you to try out uh, logging into Edpuzzle if you don't have a link already. Um, I've got a link for you to be able to join here. So follow the instructions. And then check out this documentary and just follow the instructions that were going along with it. It will help you to do the review for your chapter 23 text assignment. Um, and this is the way that we're gonna review the answers for chapter 23 so that tomorrow when you come to class, I'll be able to check uh, to see if you watch this video through. It's gonna pop up with messages um, that will tell you during the video, you know, this is what you should be looking for. Here's where you should be looking for this question inside of your, uh, inside of your text assignment so you can jot down any notes you need. Um, and then uh, tomorrow I plan on breaking up chapter 24 into little chunks. Um, so we'll be able to cover a little bit of chapter 24 daily, break up your reading, give you stuff that's more manageable. Um, and, and especially given the fact that that what we saw yesterday, um, we, we're in a really weird spot and, and, and I wish I had more definitive answers for you um, as far as like what's going to happen for the rest of the school year and whatever, if you if you wanted my two cents worth, um, I don't see us going back to normal for uh, U.S. history. I uh, sorry for for attending school um, anytime in the near future. And the reason why is because uh, our Surgeon General um, has been telling us that over the next two weeks we're about to see your generation's Pearl Harbor. Um, so they threw out the idea that we're going to see 100,000 to 240,000 people pass away. Um, and, and that's if we do everything right. And over this past weekend, we had especially places in the South um, that decided they wanted to hold in-person church services um, in defiance of, of the medical announcements because of their First Amendment rights. Um, we had a guy in Georgia who announced as the governor that he didn't realize you could spread coronavirus even if you weren't showing symptoms and he just reopened beaches um, in Georgia. And for you guys, your state is, is closed up, um, but your state doesn't have like a wall around it. And so all of the states surrounding you to the south and to the west, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Iowa, none of them have chosen to do what we're doing which means they're still going to stores, they're still going to other sorts of places, they're still possibly infecting one another. Um, and then they can also be bringing that infection to our state if they just travel freely as if they were in their home state. Um, so we had the messaging yesterday that, that we're looking at casualties, um, but the president came out last night and said that he's seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, even though most doctors are saying we're about to see the most horrific two weeks in your lifetime. Uh, the Center for Disease Control said that when you go out in public, you should be wearing some sort of mask over your face so that there's not virus that's being spread by you. And immediately afterwards, the president said that he wasn't into doing that because he didn't think that the president should be wearing a mask. Um, so we've got varying degrees over how much buy-in we've got going on right now. Um, and my hope is that we're going to be doing okay. 
Um, but my feeling is that a lot of the doctors around the country are saying that they're undersupplied and they're worried that they're about to get a lot of people who need help. Um, but I'm, I'm rooting for everybody to be as healthy and, and as few fatalities as possible. You and I will be able to see the news together. So our governor, when he delivered the state of the state address last night, he was very much not talking in specifics because he keeps hearing from the doctors these really terrible messages. And then he keeps hearing from the president, don't worry about anything. Everything's going to be fine. Um, and, and we're kind of crossing our fingers and hoping. For us, though, we know at least for this week, uh, we're definitely going to be online. I would anticipate that's going to be the way that we are for, for a number of weeks going on in the future. So I'm trying to shoot for, for an opportunity to just do chunks of stuff with you on a daily basis um, to kind of get you just snippets of what your textbook is doing. We've got the opportunity to make it a little bit more um, accessible to you to be able to especially ask for help if you need. Um, and you should be able to see your grade build um, based on the fact that with our assessment model, we can't go full on like multiple choice, 30 question test, um, given the, the situation that you're sitting in right now. Um, because obviously you're not in school with me. It's not a testing environment. It's something totally different. So let me remind you then of what you're doing uh, for your activity for today. I just want to wrap up again with chapter 23. Remember that when you take a look at my ongoing Duke Google document, you're just going to join Ed Puzzle. Watch this video with your chapter 23 text assignment handy. It will tell you during the video what question I'm going to be showing to you through the video. So you're going to be able to get visual uh, from the video itself to show you what do the suburbs look like? What does the highway system look like? And it should be a really easy way to cover chapter 23. When we come back tom together tomorrow, then we'll just discuss the stuff that you've learned about um, so that we're able to make sense out of things. Um, and then you'll be able to ask any questions you need. And then at that point, I'll be giving you a chunk of chapter 24 to work on. Um, it'll require some textbook reading, a little bit of video clip, um, a discussion, and probably a quick write afterwards to assess periodically. And so especially for somebody who struggles with testing in class, this will be more learn a chunk of content, let's assess it immediately while it's fresh in your brain, um, and then we'll worry about the testing and whatever once we get more details. Um, because again, I'm hoping we don't see terrible things, but all the scientists and doctors in the country and around the world are telling us that this is gonna be a couple of weeks where we see some pretty tragic stuff happening. Um, and, and trying to plan through that with normal is, is something that I don't even wanna take the risk on. So I'm gonna turn you guys loose right now. This recording will be available later on in the day. So if you dipped in a little bit late, you'll be able to, to take care of that. Um, feel free to turn, off your, turn on your microphone also if you've got any sort of questions or things that you want to address. Um, from my two cents worth though, when they start talking about the idea that this is like our Pearl Harbor and they're about to see fatalities. They're seeing that from all different age groups. Um, and right now, what I would really like you to be paying attention to, you've got people in our community who are about to be exposed and they are facing risks without the equipment that they need. So if you have been to any stores or whatever, notice the number of people who are clerking, um, who are not wearing face masks or doing anything else because they think that because there's not like mass chaos here right now, um, they can be they can be pretty casual. My wife and I have a friend of ours who works as a nurse down at the Veterans Administration, um, and she came down with coronavirus strictly because she was doing what she was doing around somebody who is infectious. They have no label on them that says that they are, and there are kids your age who can be infectious and not show any symptoms. Please make sure you take the the requirements seriously, um, because while most likely you're not going to get sick, and if you do, it's not going to be bad. For the ones that that does affect and it does go bad, it becomes really bad. And so practice your social distancing, keep your hands clean, keep your hands away from your face. Um, I miss you guys. And I'm hoping that after all this is said and done, I get to come back and see you guys healthy. Um, that requires you taking things seriously right now, even though you might not have evidence uh, in the streets showing that there's something dangerous going on. All the doctors are telling you to stay serious about this. And so I'm asking you to do that because I really want to see you guys healthy. If you have any questions again, then please feel free to unmute. But now that you know what you're doing, uh, please dive in. Uh, I will also be checking email throughout the day. So if you do get confused, feel free to send me an email or else uh, uh, send me a message saying you want to do a Google Meet. Um, our goal right now is just keep you happy, happy and confident that you're doing what I'm asking you to do without feeling overwhelmed or, or struggling. 
Um, also make sure you're getting your chapter 20 through 22 assessment in today so I can get that graded for you. Um, and now that I've kind of got my feet underneath me for what this online learning is like, today I plan on doing a batch of grades and you should be able to see old stuff getting into the grade book, new stuff getting added. Um, just understand that for me, I'm trying to figure out how to do this, which is a totally different style of teaching than what I do in class. Um, it's been kind of shaky for me for the past couple of weeks to try to figure out how to do right by you guys. Um, so if you are worried about your grades, I'm not. It, they'll, they'll all work themselves out and I'm not worried about a thing. Have a good day. Let me know if I can help out in any sort of way. I'm not seeing anything chat wise that I need to address. And so I'm going to wait here until you guys dip out. Then I'll stop recording um, and then I'll post the recording online. You guys have a great day. All right.